How's it going, guys? Ben Crawford here. It's time for this week's edition of... This week is less about fart sounds and more about sentimental things. And so what we did, if you remember, show them the clip, guys. Can we just eat ice cream on the vlog? Eat ice cream, I like that. That's what I want to do. Eat I think cream. people would love to watch us eat ice cream. <laughs> If you tuned into that episode, you remember that one of the great ideas was that we were going to have ice cream, an interview. So that's what we did today. Come check it out. Uh, this week, when we scare Terrence, we're going to be using sitcoms. Mr. Bell! Oh, shit! <laughs> so you guys remember? This is Aaron's idea. To eat ice cream. And I've moved to my salad because my salad came. I hope you guys are eating ice cream as you're watching. If you're not eating ice cream you're while you're watching us eat ice cream salad, <laughs> then you're just, you're really missing a chance for like a full sensory experience. You really are. So Aaron. What's up, babe? Tell me a little bit about yourself. What's your name, Aaron? I, my name is Aaron with a Y. B-R-Y-M. But sometimes I like to go by Aaron with an I. Yeah, so... I have two personalities. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron has an evil twin. <laughs> you can usually tell because she spells her name E-R-I-N and she applies a smoky eye. Smoky eye. Carlton, how are you? I'm great. And just so you know, I'm only having a little bit of this yeah. because it goes straight to my gut. Well, so that's... A bite! What do you do in the show? I believe you hoist up the sets, the fly space. Is that what you do? It's very close. I, <laughs> I play Ubaldo Piangi. He's like an opera singer, he's an Italian guy. If you can, couldn't tell by his name. I am one of the dancers in the ensemble. Awesome. Uh, and I have a few little feature roles, which are pretty fun. I, monkey? Yes, indeed, I play the cymbals and uh, am a monkey. Tell us what you do in the show. I believe you muck out the sewers. I do. Underneath the, the Majestic Theater. awful. Whatever that phantom does, no good. The worst poops. The worst. No, really though. <laughs> You're one of the dancers. I am, and it would not be good in my costume because it's all white. So I would be in the really sewers my with job, so many poops. It would not be good. Yeah, that'd be a they're like a like a ballerina sewer girl. La, la, la. But you'd get to meet the Ninja Turtles. You think they're down there? The, um, yeah, we're in New York, and they live in the sewers. Anyway, what do you do here? Are you um, hmm. are you a head electrician? I close. I play. Have you have you heard of this girl? Um, her name's Christine in the show. Ding, 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 ding. That one. I do that. I just I sing a little bit. Okay. I act a little bit. Nice. Hey Elizabeth. We have Elizabeth hey, Welch ben. here. Now you brought your own ice cream. I did. I see. Because what now? What do you have over here for us? Well, I have three different kinds of non-dairy ice cream. First, I have an oat milk kind. It's marshmallowy. That's good. Oh. I would eat that. Mm. So Ben and Jerry's oh. has some too. I've heard this of is them. Caramel almond brittle. Wow, that's good. The almond is like punching me in the in the <laughs> soft <laughs> palate. <laughs> Strawberry. Van, Van Lewin. Lewin. Which is, what it's called? Yeah. Van Lewin. Mm. This is good. Oh yeah. What does Phantom mean to you, Carlton? Well, I mean legacy. For one, like, yeah. one. there's that part you can't for ever forget about. Absolutely. That, like, the duty to sort of uphold the, this sort of, I don't know, institution yeah. of the show. Yeah. It's kind of been my education in musical theater, and it's helped me fall in love with telling stories, not just using my body, but using my face and my voice. I saw um, Phantom for the first time in London when I was 13. Mm, my dad right. bought tickets for me and my mom and my sister, and we went. Mm -hmm. And I was so overwhelmed when the overture started in a good way. Yeah. I started crying. I was like, what is this really beautiful musical? It's so great. I just really love it. And then I wanted to be in it ever since then. It was a big dream of mine. I saw it when I was 14 in um, Colorado, in Denver. And I was like, that's there. That's the show for me. There it is. I love the character, and I love the the journey that she takes. I love to tell the story. Yeah. I love the world. I love the people in this, because it's been 11 years. So yeah. everybody here has been through my best and worst times, and it and 
carry you through it. Yeah. These are really deep questions. I know, this is the one heartfelt <laughs> vlog. Because the la next one is the last one, and you know it's just going to be poop and farts. Um, Phantom has been uh, one of the best things of my whole life. Yeah? Actually, yeah. Awesome. I've met some of my all-time best friends here. Um, I have had some of my favorite on-stage experiences here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, some of my best interviews, obviously, have been here. Absolutely! <laughs> Cup. You, you have to sing tonight. Just remember. Right. You know, dairy is not the best. No, you're right. I'll, I'll stop now. This is like a, a personal journey that you've had, because I want to point out to everyone, we did a joke, but Carlton is wearing a fat suit now, because Carlton, you've lost a lot of, a lot of weight. Yes, to the point that this is necessary. Absolutely, think, which show. is pretty awesome. It's actually a pivotal part in the show, as Fancy oh, yeah. talks about it. it it's, it's referenced in the show. <laughs> There's a whole line about it. That's where it, it, all of this came from, is that our Don Juan must lose some weight, mm -hmm. and I'm supposed to get all self-conscious. But they're like, you don't look fat enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud of you. Thanks, man. Kicking some tail. Hell yeah. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of me. Singing. <laughs> <laughs> and dance. Well, you don't, you don't dance. Oh, yeah. the Char I do the Charleston in the show. Really? We just added it a week ago. Not your time. <laughs> Sharpens. <laughs> heightens each sensation. When you think about, like, the five years that you've been here, are there any, like, fun moments that really, like, pop out for you? Probably, like, being a part of the 30th anniversary and getting to perform for so many of our family other people who have been in the show before yeah. um and you know at the time Hal Prince and and, and Andrew Lee Weber and just like everybody you could just feel in the audience how much they all cared about what we were doing up there like mm -hmm. that moment was really special Greg Lamoti our PSM mm -hmm. um that went the day I made my debut he pulled me aside right before I went on for him he was like Aaron I know you have a million things going through your, your, your brain. It was the first time I was singing with the orchestra um, on my Broadway debut <laughs> and, in uh, The Phantom of the Opera. And um, he said, find a moment in the show just for you, to just check in and for you to remember. I wish Greg had told me, because I don't remember a thing about my debut. Oh, well. I remember my hat fell off twice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the big obvious ones are the shows when a major life event has happened, and I'm Christine, and I have to stand on stage and sing, like, I wish they were somehow here again after mm -hmm. I've, my marriage ended, or I lost my mom, or, you know, like sure. coming back from a funeral and then singing Christine. Yeah. Those moments where bits of it are real and you're kind of like, just like a governor on how much you can feel you on can your give, own, absolutely. you know? I would say my favorite moment on stage is probably when we do Dagoth which nobody ever sees. Because, what is that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that an upstage when right? when you guys are doing dressing room scene, yes. we are upstage right doing a little ballet section. Yes. Which is the most classical section that we have in the whole piece. Now, are you, so are you more of a classical dancer then? Yeah, we're all classical ballet dancers. Now, I thought Degas was what the, the outfit was. Yeah, it's, so we're, our costumes are based on the Degas statue, the little dancer. Yes. So... That's what we call that section, is the Dagoth section. I see. What about you? What's the moment in your show? Switching the tables on me. You know, I, I remember this was, oh gosh, this was a little while ago, but I remember I was, I was walking to work, and it was a beautiful day, and I uh, was just kind of heading to the subway, and you get a little smile creeps on your face, and you're like, I'm, I, I'm, the, I'm the Phantom. Mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty awesome that's pretty incredible yeah. you feel so blessed uh -huh. it still feels surreal mm -hmm. it's still someday you're kind of like what anything else you want to say to america all of america oh. will watch this i will say come see us yes come see us yeah come see we us. plan to be here for 32 more years so yeah uh we might not be here for 32 oh, more years. i will i have two kids i will okay then i will we'll never not leave yeah i might not i'll be out with a I'll walker be here for at least a little while longer. night time <laughs> sharpens Come I look here, forward Christine. to that. I'll be like, only then can you belong to me. But I won't be able to lift my arm. The, the woman <laughs> playing Christine at the time will hold my yes. arm and wrap it around I her like neck. I like it. I like ice cream. I really love ice cream. It's my favorite. It's Someone, my downfall. It's mine too on it's Saturday nights. It's a sweet nights. downfall. Oh yeah. yeah. I will destroy a pint of ice cream. Oh, I do easy. not care. 
Within a few minutes. Oh, I do not Gone. care. Gone. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this week's edition of Face Off. Next week is the last one. We got one more. I know that because I have one more memory card left. So we got to do something special. I don't know what yet, but I'll figure it out. But it's going to be awesome. And listen, if you want some ice cream, you follow that dream. You follow that dream. And we will see you next week for the final, the final episode of... Oh shit! I swore again! <laughs>